Hello everyone, I am Ibrahim Ridwan and I welcome you to the beginning of this course. This course is titled Manual Detailing of RC Structural Members Using CAD RC. It is a course that will enable you on how you can manually detail a structural RC building like beams, slab, column, staircase, foundation and then uh, many more. First of all, I would like to introduce to you what CAD RC is, okay? CAD RC is a plugin that works with AutoCAD, okay? You have to put it with your AutoCAD so that you can use it along with your AutoCAD. And then the version of CAD RC you are using has to be compatible to the AutoCAD version that you are using, okay? So you can just use um, a CAD RC version that is not compatible with your AutoCAD it will likely not work okay so that is um card rc now this is what card rc will do for you it will enable you to have um a detail like this is a slab okay so you can have a slab detail such as this okay so you can detail your slab with all these bar shapes and then you know call it out number range it and then you know stuff like that so that is um what card rc will do for you you can also get the sections you know like this like this like this and then many more okay so you can just go ahead and use it to detail your structural member that is what um card rc is and then this is what the interface of CAD RC looks like. Okay, you can see the creating layout layer, yeah, scale, detailing, snaps, modify, and then these are all things you can do. Then after it has finished detailing your structure, it can also provide the bar bending schedule. Okay, so just as you have it here, okay, you can see this. Remember, I have my slab. This is the slab. So the bar mark is zero one. The type and size it is y12. Okay, and the number there is only one number. The number of bars in each length you can see 73 in total and then this is 73 numbers this is the total length okay and then this is the shape which is shape 20 at the end of the day you will know what shape is okay there is shape code so it is shape 20 normally shape code 20 is just a straight bar okay but you get to know it along the way okay so it is a straight bar so you can see the length 4 6 so we have some that are not straight bars like this you can see there is a there is b and at the end of the day, it will provide the diagram of each shape code in case you don't know what the shape code is. Okay, so you can see SC20, which means shape code 20. So when you check this, you know shape code 20 is just a street bar. Okay, and the dimension is called A. Then this is another shape code. This is shape code 39. It is a return bar like this, you know, something like a U bar. All right, then you have dimension A, you have dimension B, you have dimension C. There's another shape code, shape code 33. Okay, this is how it looks like. Okay, so these are the three shapes that I have in my slab here. Okay, you can see this particular one is a return bar. This is shape code 39. Okay, and then this particular one is a straight bar. This is shape code 20. Okay, and then somewhere around here, you can see this particular one. This is shape code 33. All right. That is um, the rebar. At the end of this course, you will be able to know the standard curtailment length for each rebar in different structural members. Okay, so when you want to detail a slab, you will know the actual length you should use to detail your slab. That is why it is manual. Okay, you will know the length of your cantilever. How should it return? How should be the length? How much should it lap? Um, what should be the length of your support reinforcement what should be the length of everything that you need to know the standard length okay so at the end of the day you'll be able to know the standard length that you should use to detail your reinforcement okay also you'll be able to know how to detail the elevation and section of a column you also be familiar on how you can detail the elevation and section of a beam you will also know how to detail the plan and section of a slab and then lastly, you'll be able to detail the plan and section of a straight flight stair and a dog-legged stair, okay? Achieving these five is not the only thing you will know because what well, you just know this five is just like knowing the basics, okay? You'll be able to apply it in other structural members like retaining walls, dams, and then, you know, many more. 
anything that's just reinforced concrete that you want to reinforce you can use um, CAD RC to reinforce it and then the last thing that I will show you in this video is that you have several detailing standards okay the detailing standard that I'm using here is um, BS4449 all right there is BS866 there is Eurocode 2 there is other um, standard detailing standard I mean detailing templates that you can use to detail your structural member so if you want to change among all of these templates you can actually do that too so you go to CAD RC and then you can come to configuration then you go to change detailing standard so this is where you change the standard for your detailing okay so you can see this is the one I use BS4466 okay and then there is 866 as well there is 866 of 2005 okay there is CAD RC template itself there is zero code there is RC lab there is RC section there is RC this there is SAB and then there is UK okay so there is UK so these are all of the templates that you have here so you can easily change among all of them just change the one you have all right so if that is done then I can close this so that is how you can change your detailing standard however you can decide to set a particular one as the default okay so you once again you can go to CAD RC then you go to configuration and then you can click on change default configuration so when you click on this you can see um, some standards that you have here there is Eurocode 2 right there is BS 866 there is BX 449 okay and then you have order okay so under the order you can click on this then it will bring you back here okay then you know there it puts there's bs446 there's 866 and then there's zero code so if you want to use maybe the rest of this you just click on it let me just use 446 okay and click on open okay so it will use this particular one as the default okay so however it is still the same thing as what is here all right so i don't need to bring it anymore so you click on okay so this is how you can change your detailing standard and how you can set a particular detailing standard as your default so whenever you want to use CAD RC, it will be using that standard as the default, okay? So this is enough for the first video. Then in the next video, we will begin properly. Then we discuss about the standard length for each reinforcement. For example, you can see what you have here. This is a top bar, okay? And then you can see there is a beam here. This is a beam. So you can see there is a particular length from this portion. Let me um, just use distance. Now, from here which is the beginning of this spa all right to the midpoint here okay the midpoint here you see you have 1100 that is the length of that reinforcement that top bar to the to the right uh, to the left this is 1100 okay then from this midpoint okay up to this point you have the same thing which is 1100 this 1100 to the right 1100 to the left at the end of the date is adding to 2200 this length of 2200 was not just assumed and the fact that 1100 should go to the right 1100 should go to the left was not was not just assumed there, there are little calculations that you do before you can achieve that okay so these are things you will learn in the standard curtailing of um, reinforcement i will show you how you can do that in the next video so watch out for the thank you for watching